Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we are taking a look at a new 3D printing filament dryer that was just released, the Soval SHO2. I cannot say it enough, but you need to dry your filaments. You can check out my extensive past experiments to see the details, but you'll get better print quality and more reliable printing if you dry your filaments. And yes, even your new vacuum sealed spools contain moisture that you'll want to dry. Soval's newest SHO2 dryer features touchscreen controls, presets for 9 different material types, and a powerful 150 watt heater. But how well does it work? Let's find out. Before we begin, this SHO2 was provided for me to review by Soval. As with all of my reviews, they aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this dryer for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you are interested in anything you see, you can use those links to help support my channel and the work we do. Let's get into it. The SHO2 is Soval's second generation filament dryer. It has a sleek appearance, with a black transparent rounded lid merging into a black angled base. Opening the latch allows you to lift the lid, revealing the space for two 1kg spools of filaments. The filament sits on independent steel rollers, allowing each spool to rotate separately. This lets you dry your spools while printing, which is important for moisture-sensitive filaments like nylons or PVA. The rolling is very smooth. The bottom of the dryer has a heater outlet at the back and the air inlet in the front. This lets the hot air circulate from the back, up and over the spools, and back down to the front. Looking at that action with a thermal camera, we can see that after 30 minutes of heating, there is a discrepancy in temperatures. When set to 50 degrees Celsius, we see that the front of the spools are at 38 degrees, and if I rotate the spool, we can see that the back side is at the 50 degrees Celsius. This does even out over the next hour or so, but the back is always going to get more direct heat. The SHO2 has a 150 watt heater, with a programmable temperature range of 40 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. The heater does a great job at coming up to temperature, with the empty chamber reaching 50 degrees in 3 minutes, 60 degrees in 6 minutes, and 70 degrees in 14 minutes. My thermal camera tests show it does a good job at keeping that temperature. 50 degrees on the screen shows 50 degrees on the spool. One last feature on the inside are the spaces for desiccant packs. Place a couple of packs that come with your rolls of filaments, and they'll keep your filament dry even with the heater turned off. The next time you use the heater, those packs will also dry out and be ready for continued use. That humidity control is aided by the good seals in the lid. The base has a nice rubber gasket, and the front latch presses the lid firmly into it. The top of the lid has three removable plugs. Two are for the filament pass-throughs for when you want to use the dryer while printing, and the top plug lets moisture escape while drying, but can be sealed for storage. Finally, at the base, we can see the touchscreen LCD panel. After turning it on, we see selected material presets, the set temperature and time, as well as the current temperature and relative humidity. You can select from any of the nine preset materials. They all seem like reasonable time and temperatures to me. You can also change the temperature in increments of 5 degrees, from 40 to 70 degrees, or adjust the time in 2 hour increments from 2 hours to 98 hours. There isn't a way to set the dryer to be always on. I was confused at first why when I touched the power button, it made a beep acknowledging my touch, but it didn't turn on. You have to press and hold for about 3 seconds before it actually turns on. That is mentioned in the manual, so it's by design. Otherwise, the touchscreen was very responsive. Sound levels are reasonable, with it measuring about 60 decibels a few inches away while running with the lid closed. Opening the lid makes it louder at about 63 decibels. It's quiet enough to have running next to you without being an annoyance, and definitely quieter than any 3D printer that you may have running at the same time. So let's test it out. First up, let's try some new rolls of filaments. From my previous tests, I found that new 1kg rolls of PLA usually have between 3 and 7 grams of water. I weigh them before I put them in the dryer, and then let them run on the PLA preset for 8 hours. Afterwards, we see that the orange roll of filament lost 2 grams of weight, while the white roll lost 5 grams. Exactly what I was expecting. I noticed no damage to the filaments, there wasn't any overheating or fusion noticeable. Finally, I wanted more of a stress test, so I put in 10 milliliters of water, that's 10 grams, in a ceramic container and set the dryer to the highest temperature of 70 degrees. 20 minutes in, we start to see the first drops of water condensing at the top. After an hour, the condensation covers almost the entire edge of the lid. An hour and a half, most of the water has evaporated and starting to condense into drops on the corners and edges. Finally, at 2 hours and 10 minutes, all of the water was evaporated from the container. The water dripping down shows that the bottom of the dryer is designed in a way to partially protect the electronics. The water was sitting at the bottom, 
but it wasn't making its way into any of the electronics below. You'd have to add much more water for it to start to flow into the holes. I noticed that after this test, the surface that the dryer was sitting on was getting pretty hot, enough to start warping the crafting mat that it was sitting on. The surface was at about 62 degrees Celsius after the dryer was running at 70 degrees for two hours. I don't think that's a problem, but make sure that you don't run this dryer on any temperature sensitive surfaces. In conclusion, I had a great experience with the Soval SHO2 2 spool filament dryer. The material presets are convenient, and the touchscreen controls work great. The dryer was effective, and the temperature control is spot on, so it doesn't seem to overheat and damage the filament. I like being able to add desiccant to store the filament after drying. I also like the shape of the dryer. It's not just a rectangular box, it has a bit of a shape to it. The SHO2 doesn't have any crazy features that I've seen in other dryers that I've tested. There is no app control or RGB lights, but it doesn't need it. It's a filament dryer that effectively dries filaments, and sometimes that's all you need. The Soval SHO2 is available for 69 US dollars at the time of recording. Nice. This seems to be right in the middle of prices when compared to other two-spool filament dryers on the market. If you're looking for an effective and easy to use two-spool dryer, then I could easily recommend the Soval SHO2. So thank you all for watching my review of the Soval SHO2 filament dryer. What do you think about the dryer? Are there any features that you think it's missing? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming reviews of 3D printers and accessories. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.